Hi, in this video we are going to see about LHG's other features. So just double click LHG. Just to run it in the administrator privilege. For that just right click and go to properties and go to compatibility. And just select as a run this program as administrator. It should be default one. After opening this one, you will see the welcome icon screen. Just press OK. It will take some time for loading. Once that is open, we can see in the top, it's showing, it's showing login to Alice Blue and the settings. Go to the credentials. So just had to come to the login to Alice Blue. Just press login to Alice Blue. Wait for a few seconds. It, it will show login log success. Press OK. Now it's done. In the top, we can see online and it will log out. Alice Blue. This is required once in a day. If you are closing and reopening the reopening the LSG, the further login that is not required because it's in a uh, once if you log in, it is valid for one day. So next we are selecting the select symbol. So here we have the option M6, NSC, NFO, NFO options. If you are uh, if you are the M6 trader, just select MCX. In the bottom we have the select symbol options. So here we have the all the symbols are mapped. So whichever the symbol you are going for a trading, just choose accordingly. For example, if you are uh, if you trade of aluminium, see we have this aluminium NOV future, right? This we have to select. This we have to select. This is not required. We have to select this one NOV future. If, if this contract expired, we have to select DEC FUT. Just select this one and press Add Symbol. If you press Add Symbol, we have the first we have the trading symbol and we have. Uh, since I have this word with the, uh, the bank of is showing, so I can press delete if you don't want any other symbol. So, see here, so we have only the aluminum symbol. In the next column, we have CMP current market price and it shows signal entry, the target, and stop loss. So, these two columns that refer the target and stop loss. So, here you have the close trade. If you are blessing close, it, it, will, uh, it will just exit the positions. So, here you have the symbol added, there's a trading symbol. And the second one is the target, stop loss, and the and the close trade, and the type selection, which type you are going for MAS or for NRMA, and the quantity default will be one. Uh, and for buy sell button, if you are going for manual entry, press buy sell button. And the last we have the MT4 symbol, symbol integration with the MT4 meta trader. The last we have a delete section. If you don't want it, just press delete, it will get removed from this column. If you are dead at it. Press add symbol again, symbol will be added here. One does it run and you're ready, you can press start button. One if it, if the symbol is connected with the allies blue, it will show the same is updated immediately. So after this, now the setup is done. So now we can if you have to go for intraday profit booking, enter the total profit. Suppose for example, after thousand rupees profit, you want to stop the robot trader, just press uh, just we have to enter, just we have to enter a thousand. If you are going for a total stop loss, suppose for example 1000 rupees, enter SS, enter 1000 rupees. If you are going for a time to square off, if you, if you want to enter a certain time, just put a tick mark here and you can enter the value and you can select the time. So accordingly it will square off the positions when the time reached. So further moving on, uh, we have the buttons. We will show how to how to take manually buy sell positions. If you are, a, you are if you are watching the chart and going for a buy sell, you can manually press buy and sell buttons. Say for example, I want to uh, I want to buy a one lot of aluminium. Just press buy. We can see immediately the order placed in the allies blue. We have the updation also coming for this one. If you are going for a sell order, press. If you have to close this order, you have to press close. If you are going for a double sell, you want to reverse this position, press sell. We can see here the press buy aluminium number one lot. Number future one lot at 129.30 and the trade has reversed. Sell aluminium and will be future two lots at, at 129.30. If you want to square up the positions, we have the close order. If you are closing, so if you are press close, this, this sell order will be just closed automatically. So, uh, so here in the bottom, we have the robo log. What are the activity we are doing in the robo? It will be shown here. In the bottom, we have one more one more tab called order book. This will connect in real time with the with the allies blue. When you're pressing allies blue uh, the order book, we see all the orders from the morning till now it has placed. So this is the trade book. 
So this will be the rate. If there is no treatment, there is no real trade as place. There is no order went to the exchange. So further, further moving on, we have the we have the one brilliant system that is called scalping. And the second feature is called TSL. A number of trades and trade side and show PNL. So further we have the save trade book, save order book, save symbol. For example, if you want to save this symbol in a text format, just press save symbol and you can save it at, at, at any desired location. See here, symbol, symbol backup. You want to uh, take some backup, press save. So in the, the desktop symbol has saved. So you can just open and see what is the symbol saved. It's showing aluminium and will be feature. But you can't load this one. Uh, we have one more feature. We have one star here. When you are pressing this star, all the symbols in the current market list, we can see current symbols are loaded to the favorite list. Press OK. If you have to retrieve this one, we have one more V-shaped V -shaped icon at the, at the last, that is in the right hand side. When you press this one, it will get retrieved. I will show here, I am deleting all the symbols. When you just press V, it will get retrieved. Symbols are getting loaded from the fabulous. Press OK. All the symbols are loaded from the fab list. Further, I am adding one more symbol also. You can check it here. I am loading crude oil symbol. Just select crude oil or you can type it here directly. If you know the symbol, just enter C R U D E crude oil, crude oil. And you can press down key. We have the matching, matching nearby all the symbols near to the crude oil. Thus, you can scroll up and down for any desire. This is a crude oil. So, uh, for example, this is in December, this is in a Feb, this we can see in the top, uh, yes, we are getting a crude oil mini, mini December future. So select this one and press add. So now our content got added. Uh, if you are close, uh, if you are forgotten to add to your favorite symbol, don't worry, it will get added automatically when you are exiting the, exiting the robo, uh, this symbol will be saved automatically. So I'm just further moving on. I'm just showing the the scalping. So scalping, we have the two values. One is the buy value and the sell value. For example, uh, see here there is no CMP loader because we just directly loaded from the from the favorite list. The CMP is not loaded, so I'm pressing stop and press start one more time. The CMP will get loaded. We need to do this to get reconcile. To cancel with the allies below. Once that is done, I am going for a scalp buy value or scalp sell value. Say for example, the CP price is 129.30. I want to buy at 128. Press after, after entering value, press enter key. See here, I am going for a scalping of 130. See here. So I just entered 128 as the buy value, 130 is as a sell value. It means that between these two levels, it will buy at 128 and go for sell at 130. This is a scalping model. This is a full algorithm. So whenever the price is reaching 128, it will take a buy. Whenever the price is reaching sell level 130, it will just sell the position. Say for example, you want to have the stop loss and target for this one. So simply, if you are going for a stop loss, enter a stop loss. For example, you want to go for a stop loss of 50 paisa. And you want to target of 0 0.50 paisa, it means that when the when the buy is taken at 128, it will exit on 128.50 and the buy keeping the stop loss 127.50. Same for the sell. Suppose if the price is coming near to uh, the current market price is 129.30, when the price moves to 130, it will take a sell portion by maintaining the 50, 50 paisa stop loss and 50 paisa target. So I'm just closing the scalping and go for a next uh, next feature that is a TSL. That's a trialing stop loss. So I'm pressing TSL. So here we have once I press, I'll show you again. If I press again, I have two columns. One is the TSL on and the trialing stop loss. This is the button. You can you can adjust if you if you want this aluminum for a trialing, just you can uh, make sure on and press enter to, to get confirmed if you if you don't want stop loss, just select off and press enter for confirmation. So, so here, here, whatever the stop loss I just mentioned. For example, if I give 0.50 paisa, this 50 paisa will be get trialed. 
so if i if i if we make sure of it means that this particular the trialing won't get happen the here the value will be displayed to us what is the trialing price whenever the price for example if it uh, if the price is 130 you taken a buy call when the price will be 130.20 paisa from 120.130.20 paisa minus 50 paisa it will get trial suppose if the price reaching 130.50 our trialing will be 130 If our price is one thirty one, our price will come to one thirty dot fifty. So this is the purpose of trailing stop loss. After that, I am going for another feature that is called number of trades. If I select number of trades, I am deleting this screw driver. See, for example, uh, it has number of trades. If I am giving the trade as five, it means that it will take five five trades in this script. It will take one buy, sell, buy, sell, buy. So this is the five trade it will take. So, uh, so this is a feature for the for the number of number of trades. So that will take maximum maximum only five trades. So I am just going for another feature that is called trade side. If I press trade side, I have one drop down list. Uh, the here you have the list of option that is a none, buy only, sell only, then call buy, put buy, call sell, put sell. It means that this feature is only for. Uh, This means that this feature we can use it for the option trading also. If you are a if you are a bank Nifty, bank Nifty you want to go for only buy, sell, buy, sell. You can use this call buy only. If you are going for a put buy only, it means that whenever if the market market is going for reversal reversal trade, it will it will take only the put buy and go for a square up whenever market is reversing. So for this one uh, we we need to integrate with the MP4 symbol. For example, I am choosing NFO options, and I'm and I'm selecting a Bank Nifty, Bank Nifty, NFV, and press drop down. We have all the symbols mapped for the November month. For example, if I selecting thirty one five hundred, the sell thirty one five hundred call option. And press add. I'm stopping and starting one more time. We have the CMP is loaded. So this is a call option. So we can just open and see here. This is a call option. So uh, I can delete the aluminium. We can see a bank of T. So so this is a call option. If you want to integrate with the MT4, just open the MT4. So here we have only the bank of T. So I'm coming here. So we can see here we have the option called empty for symbol. So we have to choose the symbol correctly. So we have the we have two bank Nifty here. First is the bank Nifty spot, and is the bank Nifty. I will show you here. Just in like this column, we can see bank Nifty hash and the bank Nifty. In the empty four, we have loaded only the bank Nifty feature. If you are if you are trying to uh, trade with the bank Nifty cash, just you have to choose the bank Nifty hash. So here I am selecting bank Nifty feature. Press Enter for confirmation. So after this we can see when I press immediately I am getting a buy message. Why? Because there is a previous we got on buy arrow mark. There is a buy above showing. We got a buy. So immediately we take a buy position. So here we here we can mention the the trade side. For call option suppose if you are going for a buy whenever there is a sell is coming you want to square up the buy position. Okay, for this one we have to choose select here. Come here, we have to select call by only. Press enter. When I pressing enter only, this will get confirmed. So why means because when you going for a call sell, we have to we need a more premium, full margin. For this only, whenever we are getting a buy call, it will take this buy call, and whenever it getting a sell call, it square up the position. You can see that there is a buy call. Whenever there is a sell call, it will square up the position. it won't take this sell call it will wait for this buy call if you want to take this buy call uh, of our sell call trade also we have to load the we have to load the put option just select the put option add the symbol stop start if you are stop and stop also our trade will remain it as it is unless you are pressing a reset button our trade will remain if it is a buy it will remain as a buy only unless you are closing the robo See here we have the future uh, 
we have the call we have the put option also in the put option in the, we have the bank nifty if i select the trade side as call buy only what i have to choose here i have to choose this side put buy only this is for buying suppose if we got the buy arrow mark whenever the call uh, whenever the bank nifty future giving a buy uh, buy here we get the call will be taken as a the call will be taken buy so this will go for the buy trade and this position will be squared off whenever we are getting a sell sell arrow mark once we got the sell arrow mark this call this call will be squared off and put will be taken buy option so this way we can do as like a hedging trade buy sell buy sell we will get a maximum profit if you are a option seller so we have to straight away go here and just select call sell only press enter here go for this one and select put sell only this means that this will do opposite whenever we are getting a buy it will sell the put option whenever we are getting a sell it will sell the call option it is straight to the the call buy and uh, the call buy and the put buy so now it's done so after that this is for the running panel in case if you if you are pressing show panel it will display two uh, two two column one is the and ls panel and the mark to mark so this is for this is for whichever the screen accordingly uh, script wise it will show the panel so next we have a save trade book and save order book uh, so if you want to save this order books we have to press save order book if you want to save all the trade books you have to select the the trade book uh okay that's all so if you want to add any suppose in the top we have mcx nsf and o ns equity and cds also if you want to add the add the exchanges uh, then only we get the quantity see here if i selecting cdf i won't get any changes here it won't say any change because there is no contracts if i selecting n uh, nsc we can see here there is no there's reaction the symbol is showing empty means that this this is not enabled so for this one we have to select nsc f and o and select close and reopen uh, next time it will load all the nsc equity symbols that's all so see here we have one on buy trade is going on this one we have to square up this one just press reset you saying all trades will be reset press okay see here this was the square of the position that's all thank you for watching we will update you on the next video thank you